So I was running down to Cherry Grove with the red scale. I wanted to get the experience share, put on whatever we put on, on the team coming up. And I'm running through the grass, and I got the roaming Raikou. So I'm going to throw a ball at this, because technically this is an encounter. It's a roaming encounter. And if I catch this, it's going on the team. Now you can say, Jive, you weren't recording when you did this. This is technically cheating. But technically it's not. I will show you exactly where I am after I throw this ball. Now, I'm probably going to throw it it's going to run. But I don't care. If I catch this, I'm keeping it. Fuck a dick. There's no fucking way. There's no way. Lucas, you've been upgraded. Lucas, it was all worth it. Now, I know I said I was going to share a name between Lucas, Sefer, and Elbow. But this is literally just Lucas reincarnated. How is it that after we finished Team Rocket, we walked south to go grab something. And we encounter literally... One of the best electric types in the game after we just lost one of the best electric types on our team. The only electric type on our team. This is just Lucas 2.0. I'm not religious, but this is God telling me that Lucas has to be on our team. And Lucas will be on our team. Now, this is where I am, all right? I was running south. Now, I'm going to show you, because I was level 40. I'm going to show you that this is not a non-encounter. Because things here are level 12. So that is a roaming encounter, so I am legally allowed to catch that. Because in this game, there are three roaming legendaries. I'm allowed to catch that. But I'm going to jump right back. So there's going to be a jump cut here to when I get to where I'm supposed to be. Because I was going to run south, get the experience share, and then I was going to go back to Mahogany Town, which is where the episode is going to start. So, I will see you at the intro there. What's going on, guys? Giant Monkey 125 returning back from that quick cut-in. Uh, yeah. Um, Zeus looking great! Do a quick team recap here. So we got Dirt Toy the Torterra, level 33 with the Meadow Plate. Hit the moves, Earthquake, Cut, Leaf, Seed, and Razor Leaf. We got Hung Solo, level 35, with Feraligator, Wave Incense, Surf, Ice Fang, Thunderbolt, and Crunch. Cresselia, our starter, Dodger. Dodger, our starter, the Cresselia, level 30, with the Quick Claw. Confusion, Sludge Bomb, Aurora Beam, and the move that does not miss. You know this if you watched the last episode. Take that Dialga, Sheer Cold. Next up, it is Rex Seed Raptor, the level 30, Tatsu Croak, with the King's Rock. Faint Attack, Earthquake, Crab Hammer, and Cross Chop. Then it's the MV penis of the team, Val Venus, level 31, the Kecleon with the black glasses, faint attack slash strength and blaze kick, and as you saw that quick insert at the start of the episode, Lucas 2.0, the level 40 Raikou, holding the bright powder, strength, quick attack, spark, and reflect. Unfortunately, it did not learn Thunderbolt, which is really shitty. I was not happy about it, but yeah, it's plus special attack. Uh, let's let's use Google real quick. Hey Google, Raikou move set Soul Silver. These came back. This is so dumb. Okay, it learns Crunch at forty three, Thunder Fang at fifty, and Discharge at fifty seven. I don't know if we're gonna get that high level, but now I know you're gonna look at me and go, Jive. Wait a minute. That's not legal. You weren't recording, but my debunk for that is I always have my recording software up while I'm moving from somewhere so that just in case something dumb happens, I can click record really quick. Debunked. Two, you already got an encounter in that route, so that's not legal. Debunked. In Gen 2, 
gold, silver, and crystal, and in soul silver and heart gold. There are three legendary roaming mons. This is one of them, as I showed you. There's not level 40s just randomly in that area. So this is completely legal. It is a static legendary. I'm just surprised that I fucking caught it. So it is legal. All right, guys, it is legal. If you tell me in the comments that it's not, fuck you, it's legal. But we do have some encounters actually coming up here. No, and the reason I ran down there and I even got that in the first place was I have an experience share now. So if we need to, if we make a team change, let's say I find someone level 25 that's really good and we want to do a team replace, I don't have to grind as much. I can just put an experience share on it and let it level up naturally. But now we can go into Route 44 and get off. Oh. Ourselves an encounter. I'm going to win for sure. Yeah, you did. You died. And I wish that Raikou had Thunderbolt. But I'm not mad that it doesn't. That's an Arceus! That is actual God. Did God just smack me with punishment? God's trying to punish me. Wow, we're big to kill. Heavy. Fine, you're dead. Metacham. You know what? Let's go to Lucas. Let's go to Lucas 2.0. We're level 40. I'm not scared. Let's just hit spark. Hit it with spark. Bah. This should kill. There's no reason this would live. And it's crippled. I love this thing. Oh, does this make my team overpowered? Does this make the game kind of unfair and unbalanced? Yes. Do I care? Not at fucking all. Okay, Ethan, what the fuck do you want? This is Ethan, how are you? What do you think about taking Totoda with you on Route 30? Where's Route 30? Like, wait, where 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 is Route 30? That's that's a free static. Poke gear. I'm, I'm, I'm literally dumb. Where's Route 30? I was just over there! We'll get that in the future. I'm not getting that now. Master Ball, right here. A revive, aka something that I can't even use. Nice. That nerd. Take that nerd. Is there grass anywhere I can get an encounter in? Master Ball. HP up. Okay. Is there any grass without me swimming? There is not. Okay. So we are going to swim. And hopefully we don't run into an encounter in the water and we can get to the grass. Let's go. Be good, please. Azimuth is not bad. The Zoomerill is really cool. Now, I'm probably gonna kill with Cut. I shouldn't. Why'd I click that? It's dead. It's literally it's an Azimuth. Yeah, well, this is staying. This is, there's no way this isn't staying. And we named this Bleezus because of Nexus. AKA one of the coolest YouTubers on the freaking planet. You don't watch Numb Nexus. If you think I'm funny, go watch Numb Nexus. He's fucking hilarious. Ether, I don't need that. What else could we have gotten? There's Dylan, right there, had I caught that. And that would have gone on the team. I would have found something to replace. That's shitty. I'm fine with the Azzo, though, because that, if, if, let's say, Hung dies. That's a great switch after we level it up, but damn it. Nope, nothing there. Can we get an encounter coming up here in the ice path. A couple encounters here. Ice path. 
Now, Ice Path is all we're doing in this episode, because I'm going to get lost. Just heads up. I don't know if I remember the, uh, the route from when I was a kid. But here's our first encounter in the Ice Path. Okay, Dylan! I know you want to come back on the team! I know, Tim, you want to come back on the team! We can cut this. Don't explore. It is I'm here. Wait, it's my side. Okay, what's gonna take the least? Who's the strongest in case of an explosion? Cresselia. Easily Cresselia. Cresselia will eat the explosion if hit. So we're gonna go to Cresselia. And it exploded. Okay, that was a smart play. This, this should kill. Oh, it's plus one, though. We're fine. We're fine. Now, unfortunately, we don't get the red ice. Because, you know, why? Let's make legendaries and just blow themselves up for no fucking reason. Apparently, I just subconsciously know how to do everything in this game. I'm going to check something here. Because I know you're going to look at me and say, Jive, Hung has a great moveset. He has Surf, Ice Fang, Thunderbolt, and Crunch. He's got good coverage. I only like Ice Fang. And I don't really need Ice Fang because we have Cresselia. We have Dodger. And Dodger has Aurora Beam. Which is just as strong, but Cresselia's a special attacker that's a special attacking move. So I'm actually going to... And again, you're going to look at me and say, Jive, this isn't smart. You don't need two HMs on it. The Waterfall is base 80, physical. For Alligator is a physical attacker. So we are going to replace Ice Fang, a physical attacking move, with another, because we don't have any physical, we have one physical attacking move right now. I need that. So we're doing that. Get rid of Ice Fang for Waterfall. It is the smart move. Trust me, I'm a Pokemon master. I obviously am, I just caught a fucking Raikou at the start of this episode. Who are you? I thought you picked up over there. It was an HM, wasn't it? I'm the one who dropped it, but I want you to keep it. You took the time to get it, right? What was the point of that? Alright, now this I might screw up. This I'm probably screwing up. What else could we have gotten in here other than Reg Ices? Time to do a strength puzzle. I could have got a mess with it. But again, I wouldn't have used it because it would have we had Cresselia. That would have gone on the PC and been pretty much wasted. Lots of mess here. Two, because I want to see it run behind me. Look at it! Alright, one down. Now, I know there's a way to do it with just, like, one. I don't know how to do that. So, I'm going to actually take the challenge and the time and push all of these down. kind of like focusing on where I'm pushing this up and all the way left. Alright, so we have two more of these. If we push it to the right, yeah. Another encounter. Oh, we can make it a manky! If you don't know, I am Jive Monkey 125. That's close to Mankey, so we need all Mankey's Jive. 
I'm waiting to get one so I can actually freaking do it. Yeah, anybody out there who can draw? For actual art, art people. Art people. What the fuck am I saying? I want to get actual graphics for the channel made if I ever hit, like, you know, 200 subscribers or something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Alright, I want that item. Okay, this is how I get it. I go like this. Bob, Master Ball. Shed Shell. I don't know what that does. Really don't know what that does. Oh, son of a bitch. I gotta go all the way around. Game, you silly. There we go. Bang! Challenge completed. Another magic card. Look at Luke is exerting his pressure. That chin lock. You get that chin lock lock. Can I just call like Crobat Claws and catch this? Because I like Crobats. Why couldn't that have been our first encounter? I need a flying type. I'm tired of having to run anywhere. I mean, yes, running everywhere was nice because I caught the fucking Raikou because of it. But still. Straight down that, but I. Oh, god damn it. Fire Punch! I yelled more than I should have. That might be a good move. Did anybody learn that? Fire Punch right in front of me. Right in front of me. No, that's Night Slash. Fire Punch. Alright, I don't know what this normally is. Who can learn it? Okay. Good attacking move. Let me look at Val Venus. How, much, how strong is Blaze Kick? 85 versus 75. We're getting the ability to always hit in five more PP. I think we're gonna do that. I think we're honestly gonna do that. I think that's a smart thing to do. Oh, we learned Fire Punch. That's nice. That's not bad. Sick. I'm, I'm pumped for that, actually. So let's go over here. There's gotta be more items. There are... Oh, I'm dumb. I figured it out. Like, y'all, dude. Oh, look at, look at Lucas get big. And shove that boulder down with his massive girth. And by girth, I mean his penis. Mind plate. That's, again. That might not be bad for Cresselia. You know all these plates. So many plates you think I own a restaurant. Really quick claw. Yeah, we don't really need that. I'd rather have the mind play make confusion stronger. Another encounter. This episode's been very just like long and boring, I know. Other than the intro, the intro was great. Paralyzed heal. Don't need that. Pusher? For real? Like, I have to freaking push her? How do I push her? The fuck? Smoke ball, cool, I got two of those. I'm literally like, okay, all these puzzles, and this is the one that screws with me.
Got it. Push. Figured it out. Save and out of the ice path we are. Nice. Black Thorn City, hello. And we got a couple more minutes, which means we can get a couple of encounters. Plusle's cute. I don't have it. You have Plusle for a fuck off. No. No. I'm not trading you a freaking Plusle. I'm not even gonna think about catching a Plusle. Alright, we're gonna get our Blackthorn City encounter here first. By swimming! Woo! Surfing USA survey says, what are we gonna get? Weeping Bell. That's not terrible. Female. I can't hit it with this thing. Right? Yeah. No, no way. We'll send in Turtwig, and we'll hit it with, like... Ah, you didn't die. Nice. Very lucky there. Throw a great ball at it. We're gonna name this thing... Um... I have, I have a great nickname for it. Now remember Weeping Bell's mouth, okay? This one's gonna get pretty un-PG for you. Weeping Bell has big mouth. She is great for sucking dicks. Lisa Ann. <laughs> Alright, I think we're going to end the episode there. We have another encounter we can get south. He just heal real quick. We another, I think we have another encounter we can get later. We have another one inside of the cave. But next episode, on Monday, we will get our eighth and final Gym badge. If you enjoyed today's episode, please do make sure to like and comment down below. And if you have not already, do subscribe to the channel. My name is JiveMonkey125, and I will see all of you beautiful people next time.